week six NFL algorithm review with a Monday night preview. So very interesting week. Um, really kind of can't complain, even though I want to complain about this week. Um, the algorithm did some amazing things when you look at this. So one thing that we always want the algorithm to do properly is we want it to win games top down, right? We're sorting this by projected score, uh, projected margin of victory, really. And that's this number right here. We want it to win games at the top. Um, it, it actually really did a pretty good job at doing that this week. And and so much it did so much better than the odds makers. Um, one way you can look at that is when you sort this instead of sorting it by projected margin of victory, you sort it ascending by money line. Look at how much worse this was with the Niners up here. It's actually not that much worse. But it did have, you know, the Niners and the Eagles as big favorites that lose. We can see that if you had the survivor pool pick of the Niners or the Eagles this week, you got spanked. But our Miami game ended up winning. Buffalo also like almost lost this game. We, I mean, the Giants were up six nothing and didn't score at the end of the first half last night. Like weird, weird games and upsets this week. But this this is not bad. Um, I mean, you have let I me mean, you look at all this up top. You have all these teams winning and covering. That means the algorithm's doing a good job. It's saying that these were the most distorted matchups and these teams cover, although. You know, the Raiders cover because the Patriots end up giving up a safety at the end of the game. Uh, Minnesota barely holds on to cover against Chicago. This was the one loss it had was it had Atlanta beating Washington at home. That did not happen. Rams dominate the Cardinals. Um, yeah, this game goes under. The Buffalo game goes under. Um, and Buffalo does not cover, though, right? You have the Niners missing a field goal at the end, but we have these points like extremely close. We actually lose the over under on this game because they set it at 35 and it goes to 36. But the score was very close. You can see that Cleveland ends up just getting an extra touchdown. So this wasn't bad. Detroit wins. And then you have our underdogs losing the game that was in Europe, Tennessee and Baltimore. We're now 0 and 3 on games that are in Europe this year. Algorithm does not do the Europe games properly. Um, Seattle had a chance at the end, didn't get there. And Cincinnati comes back with, with now another win this season. The Indianapolis-Jacksonville game was miserable. That's a game this, this algorithm completely missed. Way down here ends up having a ton of points, and Jacksonville ends up winning, and they're looking like a better team now. Notice we have the Eagles and the Jets all the way down here, and the Jets managed to win this game. Jalen Hurts throws some interceptions late, plays a different type of game, and Jets defense, you can see exactly what happened here. Like, the Eagles could have driven at the end of the game and made this a 21-20 game and been exactly, they didn't get there. But at least we had this game way down here, right? So you could have avoided it. So even though we only win one of our underdogs this week, pending the Monday night game with the Chargers, uh, it did lose some games here, but top down, not bad. I talked about playing these like five games, I think it was, right? You give four and one. And Miami covers. You take Miami to cover. So it's actually not that bad, although the bottom of the list was kind of ugly. But if we're going to lose games, we want to lose them at the bottom of the list. So I, I don't think this was all that bad. I mean, when you see a chunk of green like this, where they're winning and they're covering like that. Five of the top six so far for the week. That means the algorithm is properly distributing these games. And we miss some close ones with underdogs at the bottom. So I'm not going to complain too much about this this week. Monday's game, see where that fits on the list, right? That fits right about here right now. This game hasn't happened yet. This is a high-scoring Monday night game. Has the Chargers as an underdog at home. Uh, you can see it's right here in the middle. So it, it it's pretty strong thinking that the Chargers will win at that underdog line. So we'll see if that happens. If they do win, you end up being, what, nine and six? They're trying to get a nine and six weekend. And you're also trying to hit 
seven of the top eight if you can hit that game tonight, which would be a successful week. That's kind of where I draw the line saying the algorithm did well as if it hits seven of the top eight games. That's what you're trying to go for. Games that have more than a touchdown differential and score, which would really be eight of the top nine if the Chargers win, right? No, it'd be seven. No, it'd be seven of the top eight, actually. Yeah, seven of the top eight. So we'll see what happens. That's the update. Purchase copy. It's only $50 for a one-week copy. Uh, and you can start updating this yourself following the how-to tutorial videos. But okay week. I don't feel great about it because our underdogs lost at the bottom, but we really should be looking top down. And it did okay things top down. All right, good luck. They all, your picks. B. Winning.